Imagine living in a vertical metropolis with no cars and no pollution housed in twin high rises more than 100 miles long with hanging gardens and spectacular views. This might sound like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but one ambitious country has started to build the world's most extravagant linear smart city and it looks nothing like your average city. Join us today as we explore this extraordinary upcoming mega project that will eclipse every other mega city construction in the world. We at Luxdoor aim to unravel unseen luxuries to all you success chasers. Join us in exploring a world of unparalleled elegance and stick around to the end and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive more enriching videos. In January of 2021, the Saudi Arabian Crown Prince announced an immense new development project that is supposed to set a blueprint for the future of his country and the world. He announced that the kingdom will build a city that stretches along a single 100 mile long line. The economy of Saudi Arabia is heavily dependent on the oil industry, which historically has ensured growth and led to the country now being the 18th largest economy in the world by gross domestic product. Saudi Arabia has the second largest oil reserves on the planet. While the oil industry is the strength of the country, it has also been recognized that there is a risk to this dependency. Therefore, the government is trying to diversify the economy. As part of the Saudi Vision 2030 initiative, the country is investing primarily in large infrastructure projects, education, scientific research, the healthcare system, and the tourism sector. What is NEOM? NEOM is being called as what new future might look like by Saudi Arabia. NEOM is a portmanteau of the Greek word NEOS, meaning new, and mustakbul, the Arabic word for future. It is a futuristic megacity 33 times the size of New York City. NEOM is being built on the Red Sea in northwest Saudi Arabia. It can be imagined as a place where entrepreneurship and innovation would frame the course for this new future. The city is being marketed as a new model for sustainable living, working, and prospering. Saudi officials describe it as the world's most ambitious project. The NEOM project is divided into various parts and phases. They are the line, NEOM Bay, Neom Bay Airport, Oxagon, Neom International Airport, and Trojina. Among all these, the line is the most awaited one. The team at Neom has already begun construction on Saudi Arabia's zero-gravity city, the line. The group is reimagining how a city is built and what sort of life is possible within its mirrored walls. The colossal scale of the proposal has never been seen and its concentrated proportions are unheard of. The line is a rejection of the sprawling suburb and a hyper-exaggeration of the super-tall skyscraper. Often referred to as a ground scraper, the singular structure will stretch 170 kilometers to house a city of 9 million people. The proposal dramatically rethinks the built environment's relationship with the natural environment claiming the car-free place will be powered by 100% renewable energy and will operate at net zero. What's more, it proposes an entirely alien way of life, with its occupants living along a stark boundary between the hyperdense city and a wild, untouched desert. To put the scale of the line into perspective, it would take over an hour, perhaps nearly two hours, to drive that length by car. The team at NEOM claims that with its system of high-speed transport, one could reach end-to-end -end in no more than 20 minutes. Tall and narrow, the city will be 500 meters above sea level and 200 meters wide. That is still taller than the 102-story Empire State Building and its spire. The project is reinventing urbanism, seeking to remove the pollution, noise, and sprawl of city living in favor of an ultra-efficient utopia. Let's see how the megacity will operate, and what life inside the line will look like. Zero gravity urbanism is an expression they use to describe the reduced dependence on the natural ground plane by creating multiple vertically organized ground planes at height. By doing so, 
It would essentially build a new topography around which urban life is generated. This new approach reduces the lion's physical footprint to 2% of that of a conventional city with a similar population. London currently sits at about 1,600 square kilometers compared to 34 square kilometers of the line for the same population of approximately 9 million. As the world's population grows and as urban migration continues, the line, radical as it may be, is a viable alternative to the gradual and systematic takeover of natural ecologies and landscapes. Urban life within the line is another driver for the line's three-dimensional organization. Two direct derivatives of zero-gravity urbanism are hyperproximity and hypermixed use. Hyperproximity is the phenomenon by which more people come closer together than ever before imaginable, promoting exceptional social interaction and cultural exchange. Manhattan, an example of a high-density vibrant city, achieves 25,000 people within a five-minute walk the line reaches 80,000 population catchments while maintaining the same comfort and density. This is because people are no longer limited by horizontal movement but can multiply their access by traveling upwards or downwards to new neighborhoods. Hypermixed use is the idea that within this urban environment NEOM finds everything everywhere. The line rejects the idea of zoning and classification. They believe that all aspects of human life, whether living, working, culture, education, or entertainment happens all over the city. In other cities, this may not allow for the creation of synergies between certain industries and the creation of certain districts. The line does both. You can access 8000 people within five minutes and so you will have multiple blended walkable business districts and ecosystems. The new morphology of the line creates an urban space of a unique nature. Everyone in the city has a direct view of nature from all heights of the line. Everyone has immediate access to the natural environment on either side of the line as well as multiple parks and pedestrian spaces within immediate reach. And perhaps most importantly, the line provides an equal opportunity for residents of all walks of life to share in every aspect of the line's public services and amenities. The choice of where to live on the line, vertically or along its length, will be dependent on preference and choice. The mirrored facade of the mirror line is a glass facade from which you can see out. This vision glass will also naturally allow sunlight in through the sides of the city in addition to the light received directly from above. The facade will have ample opportunities to allow the city to breathe as the space within the mirrors is a combination of outdoor space, parks, plazas, and walkways, in addition to indoor private and public spaces. Within the vibrancy of the city, landscape areas are organized at height around the idea that all residents should have access to everything from district to neighborhood parks and a variety of public spaces in between. This is one of the metrics that they simulate and refine to make sure of the equitable nature of the city. Landscapes in the line will be outdoor spaces as with all cities. They will have ample access to light and fresh air and an unprecedented opportunity to also be shaded with the winds tempered when they need to be. What is perhaps most unique about this landscape is have to move away from the romantic notion of a landscape and develop a landscaping philosophy that speaks to a way of life. The Neom Garden will be a depiction of technology and science combined with nature to create opportunities for nature rehabilitation and regeneration. Moving around the line is primarily based on walking. Schools will always be within a five minute walk and so will all your daily needs. The line will naturally provide paths for active and micro mobility as well. The line will provide a second topography that will allow you to walk or bike between levels and move vertically in the city. So, in essence, the city is a three-dimensionally organized set of buildings around walkable public space without roads, traffic, pollution, and noise. That's it. When you need to move several kilometers along the line, 
you can take an individual or group shuttle that will transport you at height without the need to access the natural ground level. This is for journeys typically up to 10 kilometers. Finally, when you need to travel further distances along the 170 kilometers of the line, you're most likely going to hop on the high-speed system at the bottom of the line. This will ensure access to all parts of the city at a fraction of what it would take to cross comparable cities today. The line is situated within the region of Neom, of which 95% has been designated as a nature reserve. So, residents have direct views and immediate and equitable access to this incredible landscape. It is characterized by the coastal desert, overlooking the beautiful waters of the Red Sea, Gulf of Aqaba, the mountains of Neom, and finally the upper valley. The landscapes of the line are in the area of several kilometers north and south of the line. This will be regenerated through limiting grazing, the introduction of water, and seeding native and experimental flora to create an enhanced natural landscape. The portion south of the line will extend until the beaches of the Red Sea creating a place for residents to engage with the coast. The idea of a park within the city is transformed into a city within a park. Knowing that the line provides such access to the entire region and to the landscapes, they should relieve concerns that the city will feel constricted. Here, people have an unprecedented opportunity to have the best of all worlds, the ability to move between vibrancy and sheer open space. To access all of this, one would either take an autonomous vehicle at the natural ground level or jump on an Evital. Neom, in its entirety, will run on renewable energy. The line is certainly part of that. Energy sources will be a combination of solar, wind, and hydrogen. It is important that energy generation is sustainable. It's not enough that manufacturing, for example, runs on electrical power. It is important that electric power is also generated sustainably. The beauty of the line is it places an entire city at the doorstep of nature. The city will feel like a cliffside living along some incredible natural landscapes. While solving the problems of pollution and noise and promoting health and well-being, the line also solves the problems of urban sprawl. People are often disconnected from one another and have lost the opportunity to run into each other in a neighborhood. In this sense, Neom imagines that they are recreating the sense of village living on an urban scale. Relative to the size of Neom, which is the size of Belgium, they don't expect that the airways will be busy when considering the need. That said, like many other things in Neom, air travel will be managed by advanced AI systems that will ensure safety and serenity. The lion's water will be produced through advanced desalination. The extraction of potable water from seawater is usually frowned upon because the process involves dumping the salts back into the sea. This alters the salinity of the water and in turn the ecology of the sea. However, Neom has a zero brine discharge policy, meaning the salts will be retained and used for other purposes. This makes water in Neom sustainably sourced, particularly since the process of extraction will also run on renewable energy sources. The water in the line will also be recycled and reused as with many similar processes currently used elsewhere. The project has been described as zero gravity, while early diagrams and animations suggest floating volumes. The idea of zero gravity urbanism detaches us from the limitations of the ground plane and the need to destroy it. Zero gravity allows us to locate functions in close proximity as a result of adding the third dimension to planning. This opens a whole new world of adjacencies previously difficult or impossible. Today a school can overlook a museum. A hospital can hover over a stadium. In 2021, Neom started the construction of the spine, which is the infrastructure corridor that runs the whole length of the line. In April of this year, they started piling foundations of the first modules of the line. Neom is looking at an aggressive schedule, and the first modules will be completed before 2030. However, the first substantial population living on the line will be in 2030, which will be about a million plus. 
but then the capacity of the line is 9 million people. So, you can imagine it's a city that's going to grow organically. 9 million people are similar to Greater London or New York City with its five boroughs. So, this is going to be an organic process that will take years. Neom aims to bring back health and joy into the city while giving people back time instead of them being busy with tedious daily tasks. They hope to make more time for hobbies, interests, and friends. Until then, Neon will face challenges and difficulties like any other project, but they have the ambition to make a change in urban life. What do you think? Will the line be the ultimate of high-density living? Or will it be just a science fiction fantasy? Comment your thoughts below and let us know. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.